Welcome to the Hobart Operator Training Video for the FP300i and the FP400i food processors. This video is a supplement to the instruction manual that is available for your machine. The FP300i and FP400i are used for slicing, shredding, grating, julienne cutting, and dicing vegetables, fruits, or cheese. Warning! The cutting tools have sharp knives. Use extreme caution when working near knives. Warning! The electrical cord on this machine is equipped with a grounding type plug, which must be connected to a properly grounded receptacle. If the receptacle is not the proper grounding type, contact an electrician. Do not remove the grounding prong from the plug. Before use, check that the machine stops when the locking handle is pulled forward, unlocking the feed cylinder. Check that the machine stops when the locking knob for the bulk feed hopper attachment is turned counterclockwise to the unlocked position, and that the machine restarts when the locking knob is turned clockwise to the locked position. The FP400i does not have a locking knob. Use the locking handle. Check that the machine stops when the pusher plate feed attachment is swung to the side so that the feed cylinder opening is larger than one and a quarter inch or 31.75 millimeters, and that the machine restarts when the pusher plate feed attachment is swung back over the feed cylinder. If the food processor fails any of these tests, contact your Hobart service office. Proper assembly of the food processor, including selection of the appropriate cutters, is necessary for the correct operation of the food processor. Refer to the cutting tool guide for sizes of cutters and refer to the appropriate operation instructions. The FP300i has one speed, 500 RPM. Turn on and off using the on and off buttons. The FP400i has a low speed of 240 RPM for better results when dicing or when processing soft and juicy products, and a high speed of 480 RPM for most cutting other than dicing. There are a wide variety of cutting and dicing options which are outlined in your manual. When installing the cutting tools, always push the red stop button before changing the cutting tool. Pull the locking handle all the way open. Rotate the feed cylinder until it locks on the storage handle. Lower the ejector plate on the knife shaft. Rotate the ejector plate until it seats on the drive pin of the drive shaft. The ejector plate is required for all processing operations. When dicing or using the french fry grid, place a suitable dicing grid in the knife chamber. Select the appropriate cutting tool for the job. Place it on the shaft, turning until engaged. Notice, when using the tube feed assembly, do not use any cutting tools larger than 3 8 or 10 millimeters. Hand tighten the decoring screw agitator arm or locking nuts to secure the blades. The decoring screw turns to the left to tighten. Release the catch. Swing the feed cylinder back into position and close the locking handle. If you use the wrong combination of dicing grid and slicing tool, the following may result. Number one, the feed cylinder cannot be closed. Number two, the space between the dicing grid and the slicing tool is too large and leads to poor cutting results. To remove the cutting tool, always start by pushing the stop button before changing the cutters. Pull the locking handle all the way open. Rotate the feed cylinder up until it locks on the storage handle. Using the wrench supplied, loosen the decoring screw or the agitator device in a clockwise direction. Remove the cutting tools and the ejector plate. Interlock switches prevent the food processor from operating when the feed cylinder is out of position. The bulk feed hopper is not installed. The pusher plate or the four tube insert is not in the feed cylinder. Notice, use the appropriate cutting tool securing attachment shown in the assembly options. Always press the stop button before working on the machine, even if the machine is not running. To assemble the feed cylinder, position the feed cylinder onto the hinge pins of the machine and rotate into position. Close the locking handle. When removing the feed cylinder, first remove the bulk feed hopper, pusher plate, or four tube insert attachment. Pull the locking switch. 
slide the feed cylinder from the hinge pins and remove from the machine. Notice, use the agitator arm to secure the plates to the knife shaft. First, assemble the bulk feed hopper cylinder with two vanes that is only to be used with the bulk feed hopper. Place the bulk feed hopper in the center of the feed cylinder tube. Press down the bulk feed hopper and turn the locking knob counterclockwise. When removing the hopper, turn the locking knob clockwise and pull to remove the bulk feed hopper. Notice, use the decoring screw to secure the cutting tools to the knife shaft. Use the stacking feed cylinder with decoring screw for assembly with manual pusher plate. Press the pusher plate attachment down and turn the locking knob counterclockwise. When removing, swing the manual pusher plate attachment out clockwise and pull to remove. Use the stacking feed cylinder with locking nut for assembly with the four tube insert. Fit the four tube insert attachment into the shaft and turn the locking knob counterclockwise. When removing, turn the locking knob clockwise, raise and remove the feed tube attachment. When using the bulk hopper attachment, product may be added in bulk to the hopper during operation. When using the manual pusher plate attachment, place prepared products such as potatoes, carrots, onions, lettuce, cabbage, etc. in the feed cylinder. When cutting french fries with the julienne cutter, place the potatoes against one of the internal guides. The potatoes may be stacked to cut several at one time. For consistent results, stack product against the internal guide of the feed cylinder, one pile only. To slice round products, such as lemons, tomatoes, or onions, position the product against the partition wall of the feed cylinder. For best results, it is advisable to remove tops and tails from products like lemons, limes, or onions, and place them in the feed cylinder perpendicular to the desired cut. A light pressure on the pusher plate is all that is required to give the best cutting results. Several cutting tools are available for your FP300i and FP400i food processors. A detailed tool guide is available in the user manual. Warning: Turn off the machine and unplug the electrical cord before cleaning. Notice, allowing food juices to dry on the machine may cause discoloration. Do not use steel wool or sharp objects for cleaning the machine surfaces. Do not leave the cutting tools in a wet condition when not in use. Clean the machine immediately after use. Wipe the exterior of the machine with a damp cloth. Always store the cutting tools on the wall racks for safe handling and easy access. To dismantle the machine for cleaning, first remove the manual push feed, bulk feed hopper, or four tube insert. Remove the feed cylinder. Remove the cutting tools by unscrewing the locking mechanism with the wrench provided. Then, remove the cutting tool. If you have used the Dyson grid, before removing, push the remaining leftovers through the top of the Dyson grid with the nylon brush provided. Pushing the leftovers through from the underside of the Dyson grid may damage the grid. Remove the Dyson grid, ejector plate, and tray. Wipe the knife chamber with a clean, damp cloth. Wipe dry with a clean, dry cloth. All removable parts of the FP300i and FP400i can be cleaned in a dishwashing machine or may be washed in warm water and a mild detergent. Rinse thoroughly and allow to dry. Return the cutting tools to the wall rack. Lower the ejector plate and tray onto the knife shaft. Press all the way down and turn until the plate is in the locked position. Replace the feed cylinder and bulk feed hopper or pusher plate attachment. Warning, turn the machine off and unplug the electrical cord before doing any maintenance. Routinely inspect the machine to ensure it is in proper working order. Plates must be clean, intact, and sharp. The knife shaft and the hinge pins should be regularly lubricated with a drop of mineral oil. Notice, do not use cooking oil type products to lubricate the machine. Depending on usage, Dyson grids become dull from wear with an average life expectancy from 8 to 18 months. 
Dicing grids cannot be sharpened and are therefore expendable. Replacement dicing grids are available from your local Hobart service office. A troubleshooting guide is available in the operator manual. If the machine develops any problems, contact your Hobart service office. This has been the operator training video for your Hobart FP300i and FP400i food processor.